Hello and welcome to another development log of Project Third Eye VR. It has been, I think, 10 days since the last development log, which was this uh, update videos on the six months of development. And yeah, now there are a few new things that I can show you. And uh, one of them is that there is an info message now. So if you press the spawn button, the spawn menu will spawn and then this message disappears automatically. So just so new players will know how to spawn things. And as you know, we go into spawnables and can select all kinds of items. <coughs> and there are a few new items. So for example, under props, if we uh, go back, we have, now we have this skateboard that I've made. And as you can see, it kind of works. I mean, the physics is uh, correct. I mean, except for the, uh, the axes don't uh, rotate when you apply pressure but uh, they have some kind of uh, wheel physics and you can even jump on top of the board but that's very hard and also the player will play a wrong animation so <laughs> that's not super hard easy to do but uh, I've noticed that the skateboard can be used with the hands as well so uh, so I think, oh. yeah, so now we got a table and the skateboard and I've noticed that it's relatively easy to ride the skateboard with the hand, hand colliders. So for example, as you may know, we can just place the hands on top of objects and if I now uh, raise the legs with the uh, joystick, now I'm um, in free float, uh, basically only by using the hands. So uh, the legs might play an animation, but uh, they are not actually grounded. So now they are grounded and I'm moving with the locomotion sphere, but uh, now I'm just moving with the hands. So if I uh, do the same thing on the skateboard, the whole body weight will be on the board. So. Uh, and I can literally push myself forward with the hands and do like a manual, an ollie maybe. <laughs> so, and if I go to slow-mo, we can even do kind of tricks like, like a kickflip. So let's try that. Oh yeah! And it's actually not that hard, so maybe. So I've been uh, skateboarding a lot when I was younger, so that, that's probably the reason why this is easy for me. But. Uh, yeah, and it even works if the full body weight is on the board. So I could do this, I could do it like this, uh, just standing there. Oh, that didn't work. Let's try that again. Oh, I accidentally grabbed the board. So I'm using only the hand collider. It's not like I'm grabbing the board when I do this. Yeah, however, um, and it works with the whole weight on the, on the, on the skateboard. So if I tug on the legs, and do something like this. I'm, I'm literally like standing on the board, but with the hands. And I thought maybe, so I tried it like this. I um, offset it, the foot position from the hand position, and then uh, gave the foot the same physics as the hands. And then uh, I tried to like walk around and stuff, like in Gorilla Tag, but uh, you have legs. So uh, that's what I tried. And uh, it didn't really work super well because uh, it's really hard to coordinate the legs if you are using your hands. So I used, so I controlled the legs by using the hand motion and uh, that's what I used to uh, try uh, to skate. So maybe I can show you some footage, footage of this right now. So I did like a kickflip and all of these things uh, and a board slide. Uh, it was possible, but it was super hard to control. And that's why I thought maybe I should put a mode in the game where you uh, don't have legs, so the, the locomotion sphere is disabled, and you only move around with your hands. So uh, let me show you really quick what I mean by that. So let's disable the locomotion sphere really quick. So that's just one click, basically. So I go into the rig in uh, locomotion piston and disable the whole thing. Yes, and now I'm dropping down because the collider is no longer active. And as you can see, this is like in Gorilla Tech. But now, now the upper body is uh, on the ground. So, uh, yeah. So let's try to go on there. And now, now, maybe the body is a little bit too large. So, 
So yeah, let me go into the body really quick and uh, change the collider. So we need to go into upper body space. That's where the collider is located. And collider. Uh, let's make it visible really quick. Uh, there it is. So we make it a little bit smaller and offset it a little bit upwards. And now uh, let's disable this really quick and maximize the whole thing. So yeah, now that's how I uh, thought it would work. And now I'm basically walking with my hands. <coughs> Like in Gorilla Tech, so this feels very similar, maybe a little bit smoother, I think uh, it's not that strong. So now I could, maybe, I can get, I've, I've not tried this before, but uh, maybe you can do this gap. And the body collider is a little bit, uh, I don't know, let's say, uh, you don't really expect things here. Yeah, so let's try to get the whole thing by doing a kickflip. And as you can see, I can push myself forward. Let's go to slow mode to make it a little bit easier. Maybe a little bit more speed. <gasps> yeah, so like that didn't really work. <laughs> but uh, and then maybe disable the visuals from the legs uh, because <laughs> that doesn't really make too much sense. <laughs> Can we go up there by using the board? Uh, not really. <gasps> oh, I can't jump. Forgot about this. <sighs> Yeah, so that didn't really work too well, but uh, I mean, this is just an idea, so that could be like an additional mode where you could just play around with it in the sandbox because it doesn't really cost that much in terms of, yeah. So let's uh, bring the lights back really quick. Uh, oh. So bringing the legs back, that's basically just one toggle here. Right, so now we got the legs back. And yeah, so that's it with the skateboard. Uh, it's fun to mess around with. Um, I haven't tried other things like putting an NPC on top of the thing. <laughs> also, I've noticed that it's really relatively hard to grab something from the floor because the player model uh, doesn't really, uh, the, the, it's like the, the the animation doesn't really play the correct crouching thing and uh, that's why it basically stops right there so I can really go to the floor completely as you can see maybe it's an issue with arm stretching should enable more arm stretching and that would solve the problem I don't know so uh, yeah let's try to put an NPC on the board can he move? Ah, he tries to walk because uh, he's moving, so he's trying to counter these, uh, this uh, velocity. But that's not really necessary. Hmm. Yeah, so that's it with uh, the skateboard, I guess. What else can I show you? So, um, I don't know, is there anything else even? So, another thing that I did was... Uh, proper scaling and body height adjustments. So now you can go to the menu and set your body height. And basically what, what this one, so we have height and world scale, and what height is doing, it is scaling the avatar. So if I make it really small, like one, one meter 30, you see uh, it looks really strange. So it scales the whole avatar. So as you can see, the my hands are really tiny now. Uh, yeah. Also, I think the animations are not going to fit properly. So uh, if I get a gun really quick, let's go with the SMG5. Also, the, uh, the inventory is a little bit further down now. Yeah, so uh, yeah, as you can see, the animations don't fit anymore because, because the avatar is completely scaled. But uh, at this point, I'm assuming that you are not 130. Yeah, so let's get this back to, or let's let's put it to 150 or something. And uh, as you can see, it still doesn't really work, but it's uh, more plausible than the other one. So now what you can do is, um, if you are one meter and 50 centimeters, you would be somewhere around here. And now uh, the problem is that your height doesn't match up with the NPC or the world in general. And that's why I put in world scale in here. So you could just scale up until you reach the correct height 
And now we are this, even though I'm, I'm sitting at the moment, uh, I'm sitting on a chair to simulate being 150. And then I'm around the same height as the NPC, or I could scale it even more. Yeah, now I'm taller than the NPC. So this is uh, scaled in all three dimensions, so it looks a little bit weird, everything. Yeah. And I could even be super tall, like this is not limited to any direction. So I could, it takes a little while, that's why I'm using both controllers. So that the legs will fit with the ground and all that. So now we have a super tiny SMG. Maybe. That, and, and I even, I can't even put the magazine back into the gun anymore because the hands are so huge. But the trigger zones work and all that. Uh, yeah, I think that looks really funny. And also the NPCs are super small now. Spawn one of these NPCs really quick. Yeah, as you can see, look at the hands. Jesus Christ. Whew. Oh, can I get it back? Yeah. Yeah, also, uh, jumping doesn't really work super good. And now this is basically a, a fingerboard. Yeah, very fun to play with. So that's something that you can do and you could be even taller, but uh, then I think you break the limits of uh, what, what you can do. So with this scale, you can do most things. It uh, kind of works to mess around with, but uh, yeah. So let's get back to one. So now we're back at 1.0 world scale and 180 height. Perfect. So that's something that works for me. Something else that I want to show you, and that is another tool that I made, or basically it's just another utility that you can use. And this is this thruster. And basically how this works is uh, you can just press the trigger while you're grabbing the thing, and then it will start up. And this is not 100% working correctly at the moment. No, it's working. It's not event-based at the moment. That's why it makes some problems. So the, the rotor starts to rotate and it's basically starting up. And we can use this to fly around. So let's try to get to the very top of the building. Yeah, very nice. Oh, Jesus. So that's what we can do with these thrusters. So I don't know, we could uh, fix it to an NPC or something. Let's try that really quick. And uh, yeah, this is just a very simple uh, prototype of a thruster. There will be a lot more to do with these things. So let's try that. <laughs> so thruster is fixed to the NPC. Very nice. And now we're starting up the thruster. This looks very interesting. Yeah, maybe a little bit boring. And it looks like the NPC died on his journey. So uh, I think that's it for this development log. Um, as you may have noticed, we now have <coughs> sounds for footsteps. Uh, I don't know what else I didn't tell you. And sounds for grabbing stuff. I made added some sounds, also the sounds to the guns. Basically everything that I told you in the last development log, which was this six-month update thing. So uh, that's it for this development log. Say ciao.